down here in the bottom right, in the red, it is Flash. And up over here to the top left in the blue, represented by Global Esports Management, it's Super, formerly known as Vampire, former MVP player. So far, so good. Yeah. Had a lot of gem people down here yesterday to watch his games. They were very happy. Yeah, and honestly, like everyone was very, uh, I don't want to say shocked, but very impressed with his results. You know, people weren't really favoring him too highly, of course, going into that series. No. Oh, that's an EMP right there. <laughs> Keep your shields away from that guy. Better hide your energy somewhere because he's about to knock it out. That was the toilet people roll on the top of that. I just want to point that out. No, it wasn't. That was a <laughs> scope made by the Dominion, uh, overseen by Manx. And Nova personally uh, assisted on the design for it. I don't know what you're talking about, Brennan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess I just wasn't seeing straight. Toilet paper roll. Would a toilet paper <laughs> really be a good scope, Brennan? Come on. Pay Not attention. really. That's like when I used to use my hand as a, a scope to see when I was small, you know? When I was a kid, like, I needed to see something far away in the distance, and I'd go like this, my hand, to see. Yeah? Yeah. Did it, did it I give wasn't you, very bright. Did no. he give you a lot of magnification? No, not really. It's all about that toss. About <laughs> the toss. No Terran. I'll know the tune for this one, so I'm sorry I can't sing it properly. But, uh, yeah. We'll see if it's all about the toss, because right now it's all about the Terran. Flash up 2-1. And you know, guys, we might have a Terran versus Terran if both Flash and Bomber are able to advance. Not in the finals, mind you. I'm so sorry. Um, well, round the four, semifinals. Semifinals, still pretty good. Mech him cry. cry. My body's ready too. I think that would be a good choice. Whose body is not ready for Mech? That's my question. You you saw the ready, Reggie uh, Fiza Mech, right? No, I, I don't know. What you're <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I follow the Smash Brothers scene very closely. <laughs> um, as a former competitive player, I don't really play competitively anymore. But when I get that for glory um, on my 3DS coming up in a few weeks, definitely we'll be going back into that a little bit. So, as you might expect, guys, very similar builds here. Uh, a, bit, a little bit faster Nexus with one gas this time, though, rushing that out, uh, being the big variation here. Now, he should be adding that Twilight Council <laughs> sometime in the near future as well. Well, the reactor is coming up here for Flash, and I think he's going to add one more barracks with that barracks he just added. That is the way of things here in this PvP. Yeah, let's see. Oh, there it is. We should, like, play the lottery or something. I don't know. We're pretty good at predicting this. I actually this. think you need to set up one of those tarot booths with oh, cards yeah, and stuff. Oh, yeah, you're right. We could make a lot of money. It's like... You drew the albino ghost. And that means <laughs> that means you're gonna make it to the round of 48. <laughs> round of 48? What? Could be could be a 96 person tournament. I gu I guess so. There was a round of 48 in Code A actually. It was groups or no? It wasn't even groups. Oh yeah, you can have a round of 48. It's just that the tournament doesn't end. <laughs> People who make it to uh, the final round just went into Code S. There was no winner of the tournament. That makes sense. Because if you did that, it would break down into 24, 12, 6, 3. You can have some and then you play groups. a free-for-all. By the way, people need to get on that free-for-all. Sometimes when I'm at home and I don't want to play a serious game, I queue up on free-for-all. One time I left my computer on queue for free-for-all, came back three hours later and still didn't find a game. <laughs> you guys need to get on that. Free-for-all is fun. I don't care what anyone says. I know nobody in Korea plays it because they're super serious, but like on the American server, I'll play with you guys. That Reaper gets chased away. No real infos. Yeah, well, I think Flash could probably predict without seeing the fact that there's a Twilight Council done with Blink on the way. Yeah. I think we're going to see a Force soon. Well, actually, the, the robotics facility comes first. Robo first. As soon as you got 200 minerals for it, you're exactly right. Yeah, we have concussive shells here again. Going to go on the hunt. Oh, that Reaper popping in. Gonna come over here, seize that Twilight Council. The re uh, Robo is started, as you uh, predicted. Yeah. Here's I like this though, ball. you know. I, um, I I said this about Super the first time, when he played against Sue, I was like, this looks like some really practice play. And this is what you get out of players who they, they practice to build, and they've done it over and over and over again. They're just gonna use that one build again and again and again. 
And he's doing here again. But here we come, another attack here at a Flash. Flash Super is, running those away. Flash is also, you know, on the same note, doing the same build over and over again here. Probes are going to block him on the ramp. It's going to cost him a few probes here, but I actually think it's pretty smart. Because he's going to keep the longevity of his, his stalkers, you know. Now he's got, instead of trading his stalkers to save the probes, he trades a few probes, but he still has these stalkers to go and, and poke with and punish maybe. Uh, with no secondary ramp where that bunker is, he can actually get a lot done because there's no high ground vision that Flash to hide uh, in. So he's got to be a little bit scared. But no forward warping point for these stalkers, though. I don't think he's going to be too concerned. Well, let's see what Super can get done here on the counterattack. Yeah. Blink isn't done yet. That's one thing to know. It is about to finish here. But, of course, he can just micro before that bunker is done. Against these Marines, get whatever kills he can. Every little thing counts, but now the bunker is done. He's going to be pushed away. Well, uh, I mean, this this whole situation here starts to feel really familiar. Um, these two have basically taken uh, the same approach to every single battleground they've been given. Now going into Foxtrot Labs. Yeah. The Super just taking a page of the Flash's book, saying, I'm going to take one build, practice it every day, all day long, and just get really good at it. Yeah. Now, two things different, though. Really, really, really fast Nexus coming out for Super. And Flash actually makes his third CC at his natural. He's not confident enough to make it at, at the third base location this time. The first time he's been this cautious in the entire series. Yeah. Uh, but that's going to really hurt his pushing power later with that Lazy Boy push if he's not, uh, you know, lifting that up right away. It's not very far away, though, um, to be fair, from the third base. He can lift it there in probably about 15 seconds. Yeah. Another thing to note here is that Super has not made any forges. He's not upgrading anything except that Thermal Lance, whereas Flash, he has that one engineering bay. He's getting plus one to attack. It's just, um, you know, it's a, the, the trade-off to getting that fast nexus. You know, you can't afford the forges and the gas to all that, too, while you're trying to get this third base up. So he's going to hope that the mineral income he gets from that base plus the gas he eventually gets is going to be enough to, uh, you know, enough to pay for it to, to help him defend here. Flash has got a, a little bit of a smell of this, though, and he's going to go over and check for this. Notice that Flash has consistently checked every game for the third base around this, uh, you know, 10-minute mark because a lot of players will take this greedy nexus, and, you know, you got to try to punish for that. Yeah. I like what Super's doing here. He's, he's skimping on the upgrades, but he's making a ton of gateways. He just wants to go super unit heavy here. It's going to be very, very good against that Lazy Boy push. Get out a ton of zealots here. All right. He's trying to get in the position with that Colossus. Oh, wow. He took the gold. I did not expect this. But well, missed Maynard there, uh, but he can re-rally that in a second. He's much more focused on this location here. If he can keep you know, Super on the defensive here while well, he gets that gold base up, that could be really good for him. It can make a, a, you know, a lot of strong pushes to come out after that. Yeah. Blast coming from the other angle here, then coming back to the front. A little bit of tank in there on those medivacs. It's too much firepower here. Flash can't actually contest with this army anymore. Yeah. Backs off for now. Still looks like he may want to go for a drop here. He's grouping up. And he's actually, uh, you know, been able to make uh, up to 53 SCBs this time. So it's actually even in Harvesters right now with Super because Super's been running so scared. Doesn't want to make a single, uh, you know, probe right now. Could cost him, you know, half a Zealot for later. Yeah. It's crazy how accurate Flash is. He, he got 53 SCVs every time except one where he got 52. He just stops exactly at this point every time. Yeah. Well, counting your SCBs is definitely a skill you can memorize. Um, you know, a lot of you guys in Master League probably do it, you know, as well. You know, when you're trying to do these sort of timing attacks, emulate this sort of play. Um, as it, you know, it is very important to keep an eye on the exact how many SCBs you have. You know, uh, if you watch a... Well, hold that thought. We're going to see a little bit of swipe in action going on here with those thermal lances coming in here. Ooh, that time warp zoning is pretty good. It doesn't hit anything, but it's still zoning these units out. Now I should be able to eliminate these refineries. He's also got a few force fields he could drop. I don't think he has enough. He's only got two sentries in this mix. Yeah. Super hitting a nice timing here before a ton of Vikings are out. Only six so far. And he's got a ton of units as well as charge now. He's going to be able to warp in so much stuff. He's making this forward pile on here as well. And now going up to three Colossi this time. Usually he was going to two and then making immortals. Such a, a really, really scary push here for Super. But he needs to make sure those claws are in the right spot, not like this. Great volleys here from Flash, but does he have enough? That's so many stalkers underneath. That's 24 stalkers, and he's eliminating those Vikings so quickly. 
What were those Colossi attacking? They weren't attacking the army. That's for sure. I think they might have been hitting the CC, which is still rooted to the ground. But look at this. He's only got one Viking now and two Colossi live. They're very low, but is he really going to be able to push his way forward underneath that Stalker Force? I don't think so. The next wave of Zealots is going to be a very big problem here. Just a few more warping in right now. If we can have the Zealots to tank, this army is deadly because he's got the plus armor damage that the Stalkers do to Marauders, plus those Colossi at the back to do that AoE. This is a really scary moment for Flash, especially because back at home, He's mining from three bases. Super's mining on three bases right now. Flash only has two. He's kind of like moving his CC now. He's long distance mining with it for a second, but now he's actually fully retreating with it as it's a bit exposed out there. Yeah. Super now going for the attack. Huge stalker first, like we were mentioning. And he might just come down here and kill all these supply depots. He's going to supply block Flash for a while here. Flash hasn't remade them, and now he can't make units. And with a big swell of units here at a Super, he could go for a big push. A very, you know, textbook example of how when you're ahead you can just continue to poke, and try to get little advantages. Now it looks like he's going for the final fight here. Flash confident enough to engage on those Vikings, putting them at the claw side. He's going to get all three of those down, and there's a lot of Marauders here. Does he have a large enough army? He's going to push this back. The Vikings land, and Flash holds, man. The Zealots that are, he's sorely needed are now warped in. Yeah, they them. finally come in, but with the Vikings landed, so much added firepower here. Some nice blink micro here, but too many Marauders are going to push those Stalkers back after the Zealots die. He could have just had one more warp and would have been so good for him. All these Marauders are very, very low. The Medivac's desperately trying to heal them up here. More more pylons going down, and this game is kind of evened out here. He does have that additional warp in now, and the Dark Shrine is almost done, so Flash starting to mine from the regular base over there, is going to find himself in a bit of trouble without any turrets or detection because he's constantly dropping mules. When you're in this situation where you're so low on economy, so low on SCVs, the first thing that comes to mind is I want to drop all my mules. And that's what Super has actually been counting on uh, in this game as well as the last. Yeah. I wonder if Flash is going to get any inkling here. If he remembers from uh, the other couple of games where Super went for the Stark Shrine, maybe he puts up some turrets here because that could do a lot of damage if Super gets a couple of Dark uh, Templar into his base. It's a nice poking here by Super. He's going to blink away. He's actually able to catch it on his soccer here. Nicely done. All right, that DT sneaking around the right side, going right for that command center. And there's a turret here. Not in the middle line where he needs it. He just scanned, too. He just scanned. No energy on this orbital. I don't think he even sees it. He's so concerned about this army over here, he's not paying attention. Now he pulls him. Pull back to that turret. We'll be able to snipe it. DT knows better, though. There's another scan. Oh, gets the Observer too. Nice. <laughs> Two for one deal. This is very tense for Super right now. Consider he's, you know, on his last life here in this tournament. Gold base now being taken. Yeah. Super's going pretty high economy here. He's finally the first game here where he's going to go up to Storm. And there were three Ghosts made, but that's about it. And Flash is still making a ton of Vikings. Yeah. Um, and he needs to be careful about that. There's only one cloth out the map, and that switch is very real. All right, Blink's forward. He's actually going to catch some of these Vikings. Oh, just one for a Stalker. The Flash is a bit of a, a pickle, though, because if he doesn't actually do something soon, that economy of Super is going to overwhelm him. And he, I think he's realized this may be his moment, trying to get that uh, Archon there at the back, knocking that pylon down, too, and that Colossus certainly isn't going to get anything done. No upgrades, by the way, in Super's army. Not a single one. And this is a big problem here, but EMPs go down and Super's on the run. He can't fight this straight up. Flash is about to maybe advance, guys, to the round of four. Really solid micro here, landing those Vikings. Does he have enough bio? Another ghost is coming through here. I think he's got plenty enough, and I think he's about to take this win. This Nexus is certainly going to have to be canceled. It's finishing right now, and he actually doesn't even cancel it, but I think Flash is about to cancel him out of this tournament. Super's about to get canceled. Flash has done it. He's up 50 supply now. Tons of Marauders wiping out the Stalker Force now. Time Warp finally goes down, but it's way too late here, Super. And with four Stalkers, he's going to try to make something work. Well, Brendan, it's flat. GG, it's Flash O'Clock AM right now. We're going to have Flash O'Clock PM a little bit later today to see if this guy is going to the Grand Finals. Yep. Superb play. Both players really sticking to their guns every single game, all four games, you know, just the same thing over and over again, uh, but Flash ended up, you know, eking out the better play in the end. So there's a little bit better control 
And I really, I really have to hand it to Flash. I think his composition building is one of his greatest strengths. He really knows exactly how to build his comps. Uh, and he's making Vikings part of his army, not afraid to land them. And, uh, and he's always got a few ghosts. A few ghosts is all you need if you can hit those key EMPs on a small number of High Templar. So I think it's fairly safe to just keep making those Vikings because they are going to be able to fight. And he knew just when to fight. He knew exactly when he was about to, to lose control, when, when the tables are about to be turned. He knew that Super was getting a better economy. He needed to do something about it. And uh, hit that timing at the end there very, very nicely. Yeah. Wall said now he's going to stand on the podium and get some pictures snapped of him. Looking really happy with this win. He looked at me when he came out of 